it's me uh, Jamaican 18 Prince here today and um, I've got a, a package from Newegg um, so um, before I get into that um, I just wanted to say that uh, I kind of changed my mind I want to give you an update I know in the last video I said um, that I was going to get the 290X's but due to the um, the limited amount in time in terms of stock and due to you know Bitcoin miners or Litecoin miners these people that are mining for some you know online currency you know uh, they kind of drive the price up so now the 290 is for 499 instead of uh, 399 and the 290x is for uh, 599 instead of 550 now um, I had a budget as I said I work with it every year uh, or anytime I'm grading graphics card and it's you know right now the 290 is out of budget however I got myself a 290 and I will be getting two more 290 in a few weeks in a few short weeks here um, I sold my 7970 the last two I had to get this one um, with the water block and so um, so you know I'm just gonna get two more possibly four but possibly three I mean but just two more for now for tri fire and that should be good enough for the water blocks as well so but that's a change is because the price has risen on them and I don't think six hundred dollars for five percent difference between the 290 and 290 is worth it in my opinion you know, at five fifty, I was willing to pay, but at you know, but at at, at the price that it went up to, about five ninety nine, it's just crazy. So, so that's why I've changed, you know, from the two ninety X to the two ninety. But none, you know, by all means, it's it's gonna do. I'm pretty sure it's gonna do a wonderful job. Now, I managed to get myself the ASUS version. Um, I haven't bought an ASUS graphics card in a very long time, or at least their brand of graphics card. So um, I would say, I would say this is my first ASUS graphics card. So I had a motherboard from ASUS, but never owned a graphics card. So, so this should be interesting. And um, right now my water block is with the postal service. They haven't delivered it yet, so I would have done a video on that. But um, Thanks to my girlfriend's editing skill, I will be able to, you know, edit it and have an, a separate, um, and add it to this video. So once I unbox this, you will see another transition into another video of that. Um, so, so some some people might think, why go with R9? Well, as I said in my previous video, if you watch it, um, I think it's 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 very powerful. Um, the 290 is most of the time faster than the 780 um, and I mean you know we can argue that a 780 runs cool and whatnot but keep in mind that I water cool so really that's a non-issue to me so you know in the end the 290 came to about five hundred and ninety one dollars um, with water block versus if I went with a TI I would have to pay more or if I went with a 290X I would have to pay more and even if I went with a GTX 780 plus water block, it would still be in the 600 range, okay? So either way, you know, for, for the price I pay, I'm quite happy with the purchase. Um, so as you can see, um, the R9 290, um, this is reference. And you have to have a reference card in order to water block it. Um, there's some aftermarket there will be some aftermarket 290s that will um, support that EK or other companies will make water block for, but majority of the time you need a reference card in order to water cool it. So, um, so let's unbox this and let's see what we get. Um, uh, let's go. I'm so excited I can even unbox this thing. So, all right. So we get another box within a box. So the 
this is going to be a straightforward unboxing okay so they have a little board on top here and what you get in this package here if I can open it is they give you like a um, just you know installation guys with manuals and you know you CD with drivers and as I said you know everyone says this in their video by now everyone should know that once you buy a new video card you're not supposed to be using this unless it's like a last 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 resort why you don't have no internet or anything by the way if you don't have the internet I don't see the why you want to buy a graphics card like this but you know let's say something happened where you you know you lose internet for a second or you know you just not you know situation arise well then you will be able to use this instead of going online and downloading the latest driver but you know in most likely scenario you, you will be able to have access to the internet so I recommend you go down go on AMD website and download the latest driver for the graphics card so all right so you get um, I would say two six spin to an A pin adapter for your graphics card for those of you that don't have a power supply with all the latest adapters on there like PCI Express 6 pin and 8 pin power um, this adapter is for you if you don't if you have an older power supply so all right so that's all you get in this um, let's move on to the main point all right there's nothing else that's just it so here's a card So as you can see guys, this is the R9 290. Um, it's a um, it's AMD's Wow um Hawaii GPU on there. Um, it's I think it's clocked. It, well, there's not a main default clock for this, but it can clock automatically clock itself up to um, 947 megahertz. Um, it has four gigabytes of GDDR5. Um, I think it's clocked at 1250 and uh, it's I think the data rate on that is about 320 gigs a second um, it has a 512 bit bus memory interface um, and uh, I mean it has also has 2560 stream processors so it's a bit cut down from your regular 290X your 290X have 2818 stream processors so uh, you know, it, it translates to about 5% performance difference in, in games, really. Um, and there's some situation where this is actually outperforming the 290X because the 290X tend to throw um, a lot. So um, there's scenarios where this is actually raining on top in some games. So overall, um, really, you can't go wrong with this graphics card. If you're water cooling, you can't go wrong. If you are just, you know, waiting for aftermarket coolers, that would be the best bet as these cards are very powerful they don't clock overclock as well as the Nvidia series like the 780s you know on the, the, the Titan and the TIs they don't overclock so well but um, keep in mind that you know if you can have this at 1200 megahertz it, 1200 megahertz clock this thing will beat whoop a 1300 megahertz clock 780 easily so Clock for clock, I wouldn't really compare them because they're different architecture. But it goes to show you that you don't need a massive overclock on this card for it to outperform a GTX 780 or even a Titan at, at, at the most. You know what I mean? Unless you're, you know, voltage modding and stuff, and then like doing a massive overclock on the Titan. But if you're just like, you know, as I said, let's say, you know, let's say no modding involved, let's say you just want to overclock, this thing will be able to overclock and whoop a Titan's butt. Okay. Um, not saying the Titan can be overclocked too, but you know, as I said, you know, for the price you're paying for this card, um, it, it's amazing what you get in this little package. So um, it's recommended by me, um, not because I'm an ATI fanboy or MD fanboy, but just because the price of performance, it's it's really there. So um, yeah, so it's it's a great card. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to wait on my. Um, 
for now, um, I'm gonna wait on my um, my water block and then I'll do an unboxing of that as well. But I'm um, just to take you around the card for a little, so you can the guys can actually see it. Um, he sells. I'm pretty sure you guys see how the videos of it, but there you go. So you got your eight pin, six pin PCI Express power. You got your your blower style cooler. Um, you got your shroud, which is not bad. To me, the shroud looks good, but some people have their own preference, so, you know, whatever. And, um, you know, you just got your your display port, HDMI, two DVIs, dual link DVIs. And um, you got your bio switch right here, if you can look. Got your dual bio switch, which comes in handy if you want to flash the bios to something better or for overclocking. So, um, that's what that's for. And I mean, generally speaking, that's just that's about it. Um, uh, so yeah, guys, this is my first 290, and I will be getting two more um, in coming weeks for Tri Fire. And when I have those, I definitely do unboxing of those as well and water box. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I see you in the next video. Hey, YouTubers, I'm back, and so I got the water block. Like I told you, I had to pick it up. But um, let's do an unboxing to see what the water block looks like together since we did an unboxing with the card. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick unboxing as I'm very eager to put the water block on. So, so while I'm doing this, I can say that without a doubt that... I am excited to get two more of these things. As I said, man, these cards are, 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 are beasts for the price you pay, man. Really, really nice for the price you pay. So I'm very quite, I'm quite happy with the performance so far, which I can't give away just yet. As I will do, you know, a couple more videos after this to show you guys the performance I'm getting with one card. And I also have another surprise for you guys, which I'll be uploading uh, as well. So, okay, attention, this product has been opened. What? There's a sticker here that says, once this product has been opened, it is not returnable. Double check compatibility and sizing. Interesting. So, I guess, with this product, if you buy the wrong product and you open the package, then pretty much you cannot return this product back to EK um, from what they're saying here. Well, as you can see, I've ordered the um, EK FC 290X block, which fits the 290X because it's referenced. So as I said, once it's referenced, you'll be able to fit it, whether it's a 290, 290X, a lo as long as they don't mess with the PCB layout. Now, if you're going to do an aftermarket, let's say when the aftermarket 290 or 290X drops, you might want to look at the PCB because they might modify it in order to have that, that, um, that cooling work appropriately on that car. So, um, so that's why it's best to get water block for, for, for reference uh, card or reference cooler cards. Okay. All right. Um, so um, let's look what we get here. Um, Okay, ooh, we got some thermal paste. Thank you, EK. This is pretty nice. Um, not sure what one is this, but uh, looks looks look like it would, it's capable. Okay, we got our um, thermal pads. Got a whole bunch here. Um, we got our washers and and, and fittings and um, extra. Um, extra cover port, an extension, and all in key to screw it all together. And um, we get a manual showing you how to put the water block on. So you can see. And we are now going to look at the water block. Okay. Now this is the water block as you can see. 
It's nice. It's also um, nickel-plated copper. Now, I'm going to tell you guys a little secret. Now, if you run distal water, or just run distal water with, let's say, PT Nuke, or one of those biocide, okay, the reason why a lot of people are getting um, a lot of, um, I wouldn't say galvanic corrosion, but why the, the nickel is being eaten away to reveal the copper is because, remember, the, the water picks up iron, you know, um, by running from the copper to the mixed metal, it's picking up iron as it goes. So when it picks up iron, that that's what start start to to it start to eat away the nickel plating on the copper. You know what I mean? So that's what happens. Now to prevent that, for in my case, to prevent that, what I do is to prevent the water from being ironized. Um, as I said, I use a oil-based coolant. Now it's not completely oily to the point you can't wash out your stuff. It, it, you can wash it out, but when what, when you use an oil-based cooling, it creates a layer of kind of like a, a a lubricant on the block, so that way the water can't you know it create like a thin layer of oil, so that the water just rush over the block instead of just sitting there and settling on the block, you know, eating away. If you get the concept, what I'm trying to get to. I'm not very scientific, so. I'm trying to explain as best as possible. Just think of like oil, like, you know, a, a emulsion. Think of an oil emulsion because water makes it oil. That's pretty much what my coolant is based on. And so when I, you know, when I run my coolant, you know, it's not causing any acidic or any galvanic corrosion as the oil is not very, you know, it's not going to, uh, it will slow the process of, you know the water picking up iron and and start to eat away at the, at the at the the parts that are very vulnerable. So pretty much that 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 will help lessen the chance of the nickel plated nickel plated copper being you know eroded. So that's what I'm trying to say. So so for me it's not going to be a, uh, a issue at all. But as you can see so far the block is really nice. It's covering the full face of the card. So um, I didn't buy a back plate, but I will buy, be buying a um, back plate to complete the card. Um, that's going to be next year. As I said, next in a couple weeks, um, once I get my tax return, I will be getting two more of these things with back plates and the same water block here. And um, things should be merry from there. So I'm very excited about this. So um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on get things cracking and then come back to you guys with more information on how the car perform and the overclocks I have achieved and you know stuff like that so yeah but um yeah so it's gonna be it for now until the next video alright remember to subscribe and like my channel and comment and I'll try to answer your comments as much as possible if you have any concerns let me know if you're a potential buyer after 290 it's recommended by me um, if you have the money, I suggest water cooling, but, um, I'll get back to you and what my thought is on the heat and the fan noise and such. So, um, remember to, uh, subscribe and just comment and, uh, keep the videos rolling. Alright, peace out.